The Importance of Cleaning Your Tongue In 1972, McNamara and his colleagues reported that the main cause of bad breath are the bacteria on the posterior third of the tongue. In 1998 and 2003, Gordon Christensen published uh, two articles in the Journal of the American Dental Association on the importance of removing those organisms on the posterior third of the tongue. Brushing removes bacteria on three surfaces of the tooth, or 60% of the tooth. Those surfaces include the tongue surface, which is the lingual surface, the biting surface, which is the occlusal surface, and the cheek surface, which is the buccal surface. Flossing or interdental brushes remove bacteria on two surfaces of the tooth, or 40% of the tooth. So thorough brushing and flossing, you can remove the bacteria on the teeth. But after brushing and flossing, 90% of the bacteria left in the mouth are found on the posterior third of the tongue. And that's where our problem is. The bacteria on the posterior part of the tongue are sulfur forming bacteria. These bacteria give off the odor of rotten eggs, hence the problem with halitosis, malodor, and so forth. The only way to remove these bacteria is to vigorously scrape the posterior part of the tongue. Let me repeat that. The only way to remove these bacteria is to vigorously scrape the posterior part of the tongue. Here are two key players in this concept. First of all, Dr. Gordon Christensen, who has published the two articles that we mentioned, and also Dr. Robert Rippich, a dentist in Ohio who has developed the tongue sweeper or scraper that we're going to talk about. After brushing and doing your interdental cleansing, either with floss or an interdental brush, I would suggest that you rinse and gargle, sucking between your teeth a solution found on the link below, the least expensive, most effective mouthwash. Leave a little of this solution in your mouth and scrub it into your tongue, which will further disinfect and kill bacteria. Here's the information on Dr. Rippich, his 800 number, his email address, the website, as well as his address. Now, let's go to the video and see exactly how this tongue sweeper scraper should be used. Now for the clinical demonstration of the tongue sweeper. Many patients tell me that they can go in and clean their tongue and brush. But if you try to go to the posterior third of the tongue, you're going to gag yourself. But notice with this tongue scraper how far I can place that back. Now, as we talked about on the video, if you brush and floss, you clean the cheek side the biting surface and the tongue side. And then when you use interproximal cleaning, like with a floss or with a interproximal brush, you remove bacteria on two surfaces or 40% of the tongue. But once you brush and floss, you have removed all of the bacteria and 90% of the bacteria left are on the posterior part of the tongue. And remember that these bacteria are sulfur forming and they give off the aroma of rotten eggs. So now let's go to the sink and watch me scrape. When I scrape, if you will show down here, John. Now, as I scrape, you will see anything. I'm getting virtually nothing off the posterior uh, anterior part of my tongue. But when I go back, you can see in the sink the bacteria that are removed from the posterior part of the tongue. So therefore, go to the video on the least expensive, most effective mouthwash. Go in there, brush, floss, rinse your mouth with that, that solution and then go ahead and scrape your tongue. And then for the first time in your life, you'll have a clean mouth.